I think we are in a moment of transformation. People are watching movies on different devices. But ultimately, it's all about the freedom of creation and the fact that people would be enjoying it in different formats. I made a movie, Pierre Maveb, in 1996, and I thought it was an excellent starting point. The series doesn't feel like it's a remake for him. He loves to call it a continuation of his film. Les Vampires was one of the best serials ever by Louis Feuillard, who was one of the pioneers of French cinema. And at the center of this is Musidora, who was the original actress. It is quite extraordinary to go back to 1914 and see this character in her silk cat suit and you realize that all these famous action characters or female villains, it suddenly seems like it was all inspired from this one character. The ghost of Emma Webb has been haunting cinema ever since. My first intuition was to go to someone who I admire very much, who is Nicolas Guesquier, the designer for Louis Vuitton, and I wanted him to reinvent the cat suit for our time. At the beginning, we spoke with Nicolas about the materials, because they had to be sensual and enigmatic and not too difficult for her to play with. I knew that I would have to create this character from a very physical point to stand out with this kind of costume. I did some music for the Vampire Ballet and I worked really closely with a choreographer. He would choreograph to these rhythms I was sending him. I was really honored to work with Angela Prejlocage, the choreographer, and I had the chance to rehearsal with him and to do the scene because he plays his own character on the film. One of the blessings of this project is the locations are so gorgeous that it's going to be excellent. When you have the right location, the set becomes alive, and all of a sudden, that scene it becomes stronger. We did a casting of Rooftop in Paris. It was unbelievable. Olivier captured it in a magic way. In a way, I rediscovered Paris. The production design really helped everyone to be immersed in our environment. The main thing for me was to invent something based on Feuillard, but more modern, maybe more fun. It enriches the set in such a way that I feel it's not a set. I feel like this is just a part of the world. That's the magic of the worlds you create and you step into. Sets are an imitation of reality, just like dreams. Whatever I write, to me, is the starting point. I don't want to hear the pages of my screenplay turning. I want to be the first viewer of something we are inventing together.